Welcome back to Geology Watch. Over the last 72 hours, our planet has sent a series of powerful, unambiguous messages from the fiery heart of Europe to the restless peaks of North America and across the vast, deep trenches of the Pacific, the ground has shuddered and torn open. On the surface, this appears to be a disconnected series of events, a volcanic eruption here, an earthquake there. But for geologists, this weekend was a rare and revelatory moment. These were not random acts. They are all symptoms of the same restless planetary engine, each telling a unique and violent story about the forces that shape our world. So, are these events connected? Connected, and what is our planet trying to tell us? Before we embark on this global tour of a planet in motion, if you find these geological insights critical, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to Geology Watch. Our journey begins in Sicily, Italy, under the shadow of Europe's largest and most active volcano. This weekend, Mount Etna once again breathed fire, unleashing a new spectacular paroxysm from its southeast crater. A paroxysm is not a normal eruption. It is a short-lived but incredibly violent burst of activity. For several hours, the volcano produced towering lava fountains, some reaching hundreds of meters into the sky, painting the night with incandescent fire. A vast plume of ash and gas was ejected kilometers into the atmosphere, blanketing nearby villages in a thin layer of dark tephra. But what does this spectacular display truly mean? This event is a classic symptom of Etna's open conduit plumbing system. Deep beneath the volcano, magma rich in gas is constantly rising from the mantle that accumulates in shallow storage reservoirs where the gas pressure builds and builds like a soda bottle being shaken. A paroxysm is the moment the cap comes off, the built-up pressure is released in a single furious degassing event that drives the spectacular fire fountains, while visually stunning, it is a powerful reminder of the immense and volatile magma chamber that lies just beneath the surface. But there is a deeper, more alarming story here. As we have covered on this channel, Etna's entire southeastern flank is sliding into the sea. Each of these paroxysms, each buildup and release of magmatic pressure, is not an isolated event. It is a push. It is another nudge on the massive, unstable flank, contributing to the mass land deformation that could one day trigger a catastrophic collapse. The fire we see in the sky is directly connected to the silent, dangerous movement happening beneath the waves. From the shores of the Mediterranean, our story moves across the Atlantic to Mexico, to the restless giant that stands guard over one of the world's largest megacities. Popocatépetl, the smoking mountain, has also been exceptionally active this weekend. Monitoring networks have registered hundreds of minutes of high-frequency tremor, the unmistakable sound of magma and gas moving through the volcano's internal conduits. This tremor was punctuated by a series of moderate explosions from the summit crater, sending plumes of ash and gas several kilometers into the air. For the 20-plus million people living in the Mexico City metropolitan area, this is a constant and unnerving reality. The science tells us that these explosions are primarily volcanian in nature. They occur when a sticky, viscous plug of cooling lava hardens in the volcano's throat, trapping hot gas beneath it. When the gas pressure becomes too great, it shatters the plug in a violent explosion, ejecting ash, gas, and volcanic bombs. While these individual events are relatively small, they are profoundly significant. Each explosion is a test of the volcano's containment. The constant emission of ash poses a persistent threat to aviation in one of North America's busiest air corridors, and a potential health hazard to the millions of people living downwind. More importantly, seismologists watch this background activity with extreme prejudice. A change in the frequency or intensity of these explosions could signal that a new, larger batch of magma is rising from deep within the crust, potentially heralding a more dangerous, explosive, eruptive phase. The restless giant is not just smoking, it is communicating. Far from any continent, deep beneath the dark waters of the South Pacific, another part of the planetary system has just failed. A strong magnitude 5.8 earthquake struck along the Kermadec Trench, north of New Zealand. There are no cities here, no immediate threat to human life, but the significance of this location is immense. This is the Tonga Kermadec subduction zone arguably the most geologically active and powerful plate boundary on Earth. This is where the colossal Pacific Plate, the largest on the planet, dives beneath the Australian Plate, and it does so at an incredible speed. In some parts of this trench, the rate of subduction reaches 24 centimeters per year, the fastest of any subduction zone on Earth. Imagine this region as the hinge of the Pacific. It is where the plate begins its violent descent into the mantle. The immense speed and friction of this process build up tectonic stress at a phenomenal rate. The magnitude 5.8 quake that struck here was not an unusual event. It was a routine, violent release of this relentless pressure. It is a window into the raw 
power that drives the entire ring of fire. The energy released here is a direct symptom of the same process that causes the megaquakes in Japan and the volcanic eruptions in Indonesia. It is a vital piece of the global seismic puzzle, a powerful tremor from the planet's engine room. But of all the events this weekend, one stands apart, a tremor that struck in the darkness off the coast of Fukushima, Japan. This was more than an earthquake. It was an echo from a ghost. At 12 a.m. local time on October 5th, a powerful magnitude 6.0 earthquake ruptured the crust. At a shallow depth of just 47 kilometers, its energy had nowhere to go but up, sending sharp, violent vibrations across eastern Japan and jolting residents awake from Fukushima to Tokyo. But the real terrifying story of this event is its location. This quake occurred directly on the megathrust fault of the Japan Trench. This is the exact same colossal fault system that ruptured in the catastrophic 2011 Tohoku earthquake. That event, a magnitude 9.1, was one of the most powerful earthquakes in recorded history. It ruptured a segment of the Earth's crust over 500 kilometers long, unleashed a tsunami that reached heights of over 40 meters, and led to the nuclear disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. It claimed nearly 23 thousand lives. Tonight's magnitude 6.0 quake is a direct, violent consequence of that day. It is a late-stage aftershock. A magnitude 9.1 rupture is so immense that the Earth's crust cannot heal or settle quickly. The stress along the fault was not zeroed out. It was violently redistributed across thousands of square kilometers. For over a decade, the fault has been groaning and adjusting to this new reality, producing thousands of aftershocks. Tonight's magnitude 6.0 is one of the most powerful reminders yet that this process is far from over. It is the sound of a stuck patch, a section of the fault that didn't fully rupture in in 2011, finally breaking under the new immense load. From the fiery paroxysm of Etna to the restless warnings of Popocatepetl, to the violent subduction and the Kermadex, and finally to the chilling echo from the Fukushima fault zone, these are not disconnected events. They are chapters from the same book, different languages telling the same story of a planet in constant, powerful motion. If this story gave you a new perspective on our planet's hidden forces, please like this video and subscribe to Geology Watch.